Hi there, Nate here from Voxel Star. I'm going to be putting together a series of Disgaea tutorials and guides. These guides are here to help you reach level 9999 and then go beyond to maximum stats. In these guides, I'm going to assume that you have completed the main story, as there are spoilers mainly in the form of unlocks of characters. Plus, I'm going to assume you have a basic knowledge of the game. If you find this guide useful, I will consider making a starter guide with in-depth tutorials in some of the other main systems in the game. The road to creating the most powerful character starts by capping out the level of the character. So in this video, we're going to be looking at reaching that level 9999 and how to get there from level 1. We need to max out the level of the character you're going to be using to grind. And that character is going to be the Sage class. Ah, the Sage. Whether you like it or not, it's absolutely vital to endgame power leveling. She is a class built around that very premise. During these first guides, we'll be starting with building the most efficient and overpowered Sage character possible. The better your Sage, the easier of a time you're going to have with everything else. So firstly, why is she so good? Well, for a few reasons. Firstly, the Land Decimator skill. This is a unique skill which attacks every enemy on the stage regardless of how many there are and how far away they are. The drawback is it has a maximum of 50% accuracy. This is still very useful though because you can clear item world stages in one or two turns, which is great when you need to wipe through dozens of floors quickly. It also allows you to quickly clear the double illusion stage, a stage with 100 Asagi clones, and there's a trick to this which I'll explain later. She also has the Mass Blaster ability. This increases her damage depending on how many items are being attacked at once. This is great for a character whose purpose is to clear out massive amounts of enemies at once. There are other reasons why the Sage is the go-to choice, but we'll, we'll cover them when they come up, as this is Disgaea, and there's like a trillion systems of variables. So the journey from level 1 to 9999 is long at first, but once you reach the end once, it becomes faster for your other characters. You're going to need to collect statisticians. Statisticians are innocents, buffs found within items. We need to collect as many of them as we can. This particular innocent increases the amount of experience a character earns by 1% per statistician point. Find and subdue as many statisticians as you can and leave them in the innocent farm. It helps to have this fully upgraded, as it will speed up the process. Remember to leave one slot free in the farm. That way, the statisticians can produce offspring. And whenever you can, combine the statisticians you have. Make sure there is always at least two in the farm, while combining extras to give them the highest possible value. This is because the power of their offspring is based on its parents. Stacks of statisticians cap out at 900 points. And I would recommend creating at least one stack before moving on, although more is recommended. There aren't many easy ways of gathering these initial stacks of statisticians. Make sure the innocent farm and hunter team squads are fully upgraded and then hunt away. Be on the lookout for items with large statistician stacks. Once you have enough, we're going to double the amount by placing them within an item and duplicating that item. This is a useful strategy but not 100% reliable. To duplicate an item, you must find a particular NPC in the item world for a chance at it. This means you're going to have to travel through the item world at high speeds looking for mystery rooms and random events until you get the right one. It's not exactly reliable, but by maximizing your chances it doesn't usually take long. You're going to need to do the following. Fully upgrade the life support squad. This is essential. You can't miss this. Once you reach the duplicating NPC's mystery room, you have to climb a large tower to reach them. This squad lets you triple jump as long as it's upgraded and someone is in the squad. Again, you have to do this to be able to duplicate an item. You will need a character specifically built to speed through the item world. My character is a ninja who has several abilities to help him get anywhere on the stage. Your character for this role must have flight ability. This lets them pass through enemy characters and objects. For this reason, a lot of players choose a character who naturally has flight, such as the Mothman. You 
can cause other characters to have the flight ability through E abilities. I chose Ninja in order to give him his special moves that can knock Dimension Gate guards off of the gate. Make sure you use the Explorer E ability. This increases your chances of finding mystery rooms. Also make sure the item world route is set to mystery rooms. Obviously this also increases your chances. Once you finally reach the item god, the chance of duplicating the item increases by how many floors you've travelled and not by the item's level. That means you don't have to clear the floor by killing all of the enemies. In fact this is discouraged because it will make the monsters in the item world stronger. Instead just travel through the dimension gates. 10,000 floors or more will give you a 100% chance of duplication, but that will take you a super long time. You might get unlucky, in which case simply quit out and try again. Don't give up. You'll eventually get very fast at clearing floors. When recording to test this, I found a duplication room in exactly 10 minutes, but time can vary. It mainly depends on your setup, and of course you have to get lucky. Once you duplicate your item, you can take all the statisticians from it and combine them onto another item. Repeat this until you have enough stacks to fill a set of equipment. Then you can duplicate that set of equipment again, and again. You should be aiming for about 18 stacks of 900 statisticians if you can. Trust me, all of this prep will make your life a whole lot easier later. Next time we're going to put everything that we've learned into practice and start leveling your character up to 9999. I'll be talking about some techniques you can use to quickly reach that level and then about increasing your stats beyond it. Thanks for listening everyone, if you enjoyed this please stay tuned for my next video, we'll be continuing these guides. If you liked it, please subscribe or tell me what you thought in the comments. Anyway, see you around.